Guys, what's going on? It's me, Angel. We are back again here with another video. Yes, right, so today I'll be taking a look at a more serious video. I saw this video on Instagram and it was about the Jordi Arias killing or death sentence that she got because apparently she had a new one recently and they upheld her conviction. From what I understand and what happened is that she murdered her boyfriend who was 30 years old at the time. I think it was like 27 stab wounds, like a slit all across his neck, a gunshot wound to the head too, I think. So she like absolutely bodied this guy. I'm gonna be looking at the interview this guy did because apparently this interviewer was really harsh to her and kept it 100 so i want to take a look and see what happens so we're gonna go and jump right into this guy thing that jody arias jury can agree on Under so this was back in like 2013 so it was a while ago the mind of a murderer but does she deserve to die for the way she killed her ex-boyfriend the jury i think so it was like 27 knife wounds that's kind of harsh man why would you need stab somebody that many times jody arias speaks Ladies and gentlemen, I have received your note indicating that you are unable to come to a unanimous decision. After just two hours of deliberating whether Jody Arias should live or die, well, only two the hours. Jury That's of really quick. And four women said they were deadlocked. But almost five months into oh, this, deadlocked. the judge wow. wasn't about to accept that. Please go back to the jury room and continue deliberating. I get. Are they arguing? I guess for her death sentence or for life in prison? And why are these people deadlocked? Like. You saw this girl murder this guy with 29 stab wounds. Convicted Arius of the first degree murder of her ex boyfriend, Travis okay. Alexander. Guilty. The 30 year old Mormon businessman was stabbed 27 times. His throat was slit from ear to ear. Ah. And he was shot in the face. Ah. Wow, 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 wow. I also want to say when the judge said guilty, the face she made wasn't really that. She wasn't really that upset about it. She seemed. She had to make that reaction because she knew she was going to get guilty. And if she didn't, she would look, even look worse. It's time to beg for her life. To this day, I can hardly believe I was capable of such violence. Even though the convicted killer has repeatedly said she'd rather die than spend her life in prison, when it really counted, she changed her tune. She claims to spare her family. Oh, so she's saying that she doesn't want to die because of her family. Ah, I don't know about that one, man. She sat down with me for a 40-minute jailhouse interview Tuesday night. You said today you want to give Travis's family closure. You know they want you dead. So why don't you give them that closure? Why don't I kill myself? Is that what you're asking? No. Yes, sir. I love interviews like this who are just straight to the Is point. That you accept the fate of the death penalty if you know that's what they want. If you truly care about their closure. I've caused them a lot of pain. I've caused my family a lot of pain. And I think that by asking for Why doesn't she take it? cause more pain to my family. Oh, see, like, it's funny because she keeps using, like, her family as an excuse. But I feel like deep down, she don't really mean it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to cause more pain to my family. Why didn't you apologize to them? I did apologize to them. You never said I'm sorry. I said that I said that I'm sorry, that I'll never be able to make wow. up what I did. And that I can never She never apologized. She didn't use the word I'm sorry. Well, then I'm sorry I didn't say that because certainly I am sorry. Oh my gosh, she is so ruthless. She never apologized. That's, That's I'm fucked sorry. up. It just seemed meaningless, especially since nobody believes what I'm saying anyway. You said it right there, no one yeah, how could they? the word out of your mouth. Why do you keep talking? Because I know that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this guy's amazing. Yeah, he wants all the smoke. Let me go back. That was cold. Meaningless, especially since nobody believes what I'm saying anyway. You said it right there. No one believes a word out of your mouth. Why do you keep talking? Because I know that. <laughs> Damn, I'm that dude smirks so hard. Damn, he fucking cooked her ass. I've lied before. That doesn't mean that I'm a liar by definition, by character. To a lot of huh? people, they think this switch from I want to die to now I want to live is just another lie from Jody Arias. I don't know what that means. Was I lying what? when I said I want to die or was I lying when I say please spare my life, you know? My goodness, she is so manipulative. Did I say that word right? Like, she looked at him with those manipulative eyes, man. And look at her, she seems so confident and cocky that she's right. I just don't know why. Look at her, look at her. I'm just going to take look at her eyes. She it. seems so, You've said that sort of so thing confident. A lot before, including right after you were arrested, you said, my goodness, if I did something this horrible to Travis, I would beg for the death penalty. Right. You did it, so what changed? My family <laughs> changed my mind. That's what I'm saying, man. I just don't know if I believe her. But this dude's on smoke. He's like, why don't you just beg for the death penalty? I mean, might as well, right? That's what she said. You gotta stick to your words. Words to the jury. 
were downright bizarre. She argued for life in prison by essentially presenting a political platform for the rest of her life behind bars. There are many things I can do to affect positive change. Nah, your positive change time is over. You gotta go, man. Especially after something that ruthless. From what they said, 29 stab wounds, almost decapitated, gunshot wound to the head. When you think about that, right? 29 stab wounds, that's already crazy. Like one stab wound, you know, you can get it maybe it like you're just in the midst of anger. You go ahead and do it. Stab. Oh my god, you know, you, you messed up, right? But 29 stab wounds. That means you are going. You are just going, right? Like there is no stopping. So you're not even sorry about that part, right? Second of all, almost decapitated. So you're done stabbing this dude, right? And he's on the floor, probably dead already by that time. And you just go ahead and just all the way across. That moment where you look at him, right? And you're just like, I'm gonna do it. And you go ahead and do it? That should be enough already. But then afterwards, a gunshot wound on top of that? Nah, see, you're crazy. In a meaningful way. Shut your ass up. In prison, there are programs I can start and people I can help. Shut she your ass up. Like she was running for student council president. She told it the does jury she wanted like to that. start a recycling program in prison, a book club, Spanish lessons for other inmates. Damn, she's Hispanic, isn't she? She was kind enough to bring uh, a sample of the T-shirt she designed to, to raise money support. for domestic Not violence okay. victims. Oh she my goodness. Yo, I don't know if this is delusional, but this is crazy. Oh, and she told the jury if she lives, she can keep donating her hair to cancer patients who need wigs. In your final statement today. She is so detached from reality, this is absolutely insane. How are you gonna close off your argument to stay alive by saying, I'm gonna donate my hair to cancer patients? The things you might be able to do in prison, teach other prisoners Spanish, donate more of your hair, um, start a recycling program. Do you know how trivial that sounded in the face of what you did? Thank you. Well, it does sound really trivial. There's a lot that I know about prison. And these are only things that I'm able to ascertain from having never been there. So I Ooh. believe that when I get there, I what? will find ways, better ways to contribute and pay back. But can't you grow out your hair on death row and donate it? Yeah. Um, it'll be less wigs if I get executed. I, mean, I like my guy. That sounds trivial. It but does. That's what I love his confidence right now. If I get executed. I mean, I know that sounds trivial. It but does. That's what, that's the only way that I can contribute. I'm limited. I'm going off to prison. I can't, there are so many things that I'm no longer going to do. So. Oh, wow. You should have thought of that before you want to go ahead and just slice this guy's neck. Extras, but these are things that I can do. And at this point, that's what I'm holding on to. Yo, she's so good at jury, not saying anything. And you had heard what they have heard. Would you kill you? I don't believe in capital punishment. Mmm. Okay. Stop with the cap. That's a good way to deflect the question. The answer would be no. In this penalty phase, the jury heard from no character witnesses for Jody. My fondest memories with him. No friends, no family. Even though her mother has been in court every day of the almost five month trial. Wow. One thing that surprised a lot of people is that no one from your family got up to say anything nice about you when you Damn. were facing the possibility of the death penalty. Well, that was a defense. You know, when that happens, you know you fucked up, man. When your family is not backing you up, you know you fucked up. I mean, how could they back her up after, like, such a gruesome murder? One that I was somewhat in agreement with. My mother wanted to. She had a letter written out that she wanted to read, and my dad was fired up. He wanted to talk, and my defense team didn't call either of them. But the impact of that is that you've lived on this planet for 32 years, and you have no one other than yourself to come up and vouch for your character as a person when you're facing death. That, yeah, that's fucked, well, man. I That's did rough. People, and they were not called. I loved Travis and I looked up to him. At one point, he was the world to me. One of the other oh things my you God! See, you can't. You just can't say that. You just, you really can't say that. Why are you saying that? I drag Travis's name through the mud. And at the same time, you say that you were up on that stand accusing him of abusing you and being a pedophile and all sorts of terribly awful things. What does that say about the kind of person that you are? <laughs> God, God damn! Damn! Oh my god, this dude was this dude is in for the smoke. No remorse. It's not give a fuck about her or her feelings. We're gonna take it back though, because that was cold. I like the way he said that. Look, I don't want to drag Travis's name through the mud. And at the same time you say that, you were up on that stand accusing him of abusing you and being a pedophile and all sorts of terribly awful things. What does that say about the kind of person that you are? Damn. And I was truthful. 
I didn't want oh. to do it, but I was also- Yo, what? 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 <laughs> nah, nah, nah. This, this is, this has got, this has got to be fake. There's, there's no way this, she just said that. So, the only other option was to lie and say he was perfect. And to people who say, you shot him, you stabbed him, you slit his throat, and then you killed him a fourth time when he was already dead by making up things about him to ruin his reputation, you say what? Oh, oh. This dude's asking some hard-hitting questions. Yeah. By making up things about him to ruin his reputation, you say what? Nothing was made up. Nothing was made up at all. I mean, it was a defense strategy. Oh my God, he is he's so, he's so infuriated. Look at this, look, look at his eyes, look at his eyes. He is so fucking mad. I don't blame him. His eyes are telling everything. It was a defense strategy for me to take the stand. And once I was on the stand, I was obligated to answer the questions that were posed to me. And that's what I did. But you oh know my God, why she, why she do, why and she that's do not that? You, right? That's not true. Maybe a majority of people don't, but I know plenty of people that believe me. If you get life in prison, you could conceivably get out someday. Do you deserve freedom? All I know is that if I were given freedom again, I would handle it very, very responsibly. So you think people should feel oh safe gosh. if Jody Aries is out of these four walls at some point? I my think goodness. so, yes. If wow. If you're using attacking me and threatening to kill my life, there's no reason to fear. She's still dragging his name through the void! She has got to be the most disrespectful female I've ever seen in my life. Wow, she really just did that. She really just did Would that. Do you feel safe if Jody Arias is out of these four walls at some point? I think so, yes. If you're not abusing no me, way you're safe. me and threatening to kill my life, there's no reason to fear. You really are still sticking with that story. It's not a story, it's the reality. And it's unfortunate, oh. but it is the reality. Okay. I didn't know that you were a hater when you came to interview me. Arias seems surprised oh by the my tough God. questions. By her own I know she's never gonna see this, but why are you like this? We talked to a lot of your friends, some of whom said that Jody is the most hated woman in America right now. Do you feel that? No, I don't feel it in here. I'm so um, incubated in here. I hear things and you incubated. know a lot of what incubated. Is the positive. They filter out the negatives. But you did know there were hundreds of people cheering outside of the courthouse when you were convicted. I did hear of that, yes. And what do you make of that? I don't know. I really don't. A lot has been made about Damn. your appearance and your oh my and God. appearance. Was going from blonde, wow, she was blonde to sort of the mousy church librarian look in court was That's that probably a, a smart strategy? way to was like your idea smart was strategy. No, they don't sell Clairol hair dye in jail. So this is my natural hair color. But there was more than just the hair color, the glasses, overall the demeanor was very different than the person that you were before this crime happened. What about that? Well, Fair play to her. Because that is like a smart strategy to play like the more victim it's card. Court of law. It's not a place to go and act crazy or well, I should use that term, but it's not a place to go and just let loose. It's a court of law. And in that court of law, oh my the gosh. jury will resume its work tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is a long video too. I hope this video isn't that long because this can take a lot of editing from me. Let's go ahead and read some of these comments. Maybe brighten up a little bit because I'm a little bit upset. I'm not going to lie you guys. I am kind of triggered. First comment said, this guy should be the only interviewer for politicians. He's amazing. Gotta agree. I love his questions. Straight to the point. Why do you keep talking? Facts. Why do she keep talking? Like, nothing she was saying made sense. Like I said before, she contradicted everything. She was saying the next comment said she almost sounded like she was running for student council president. She really did, man. She's like recycle club, book club, Spanish speaking club. How are you going to use that as a way to protect yourself during a court case? I the mean, amount I of sarcasm in interviewer's voice has to be rolling on the floor. Fact, he really did a lot of sarcasm. He had a lot of sarcasm and anger. Don't blame him either. Other than that, guys, what do you guys thought about this whole case? This whole Jody Arias case is so crazy. It's funny because I just heard about it today on Instagram. That's how I figured out everything. From what I know, she's still in prison. So thank goodness she is because I don't think she deserves to be out, especially after what she did. What do you guys thought about it? Other than that, guys, thank you guys for spending some time with me today. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.